Well, they've kept Matthew Hart waiting. And here we go then, the start of the 50th over. Clean through, Bowser. And away goes Matthew Hart. And it'll be up to Richard de Gruen and to Chris Pringle. Well, it's just here we go and here. This is the uh, score was just beating with pace there. A little bit of a way swing, but uh, beating with pace. Straight through the defences of Matthew Hart. Let's have a look at uh, the reaction of Jeff Howell. Can't believe it. So Hart disappears. De Gruen has got out there very quickly. And New Zealand still need three. Well, Weka Yunus has five for 28. It's his day to... I've never seen Malik take so much time as he's done in this game to rearrange and adjust his field. And, uh, of course, as we've said so often today, everyone's given him advice. The wicketkeeper's even now uh, pointing out that... Uh, Perhaps someone should be fielding somewhere else. And... <laughs> it's nice to get that advice, though. I mean, uh, it's always difficult to have to do it on your own, but, um, but it can also be that you can get too much advice there. Well, the Pakistanis have got through the Ravers very quickly today, so they're well within their rights to take time now. They've got until 6 o'clock to finish this over. In fact, they could have started the over just before 6. So, fair enough. They're taking their time, even though the crowd's getting a little unsettled. That last delivery from Waka Yunus at 138 k's as quick as today, and poor old Matthew Hart was the one who copped it. As well as he said, he was just beaten by the pace of the ball. It's the ability that this man has to bowl that quicker ball. it's all happening out there but certainly the game was a little dull to start with today but uh, the crowd have certainly got their money's worth in the last hour and a half or so everything's happening out there it's just like a circus Sally Malik can't believe that New Zealand have crept up to a tying position with an overthrow if the match is tied that's what it is it's tied Wickets in the game has nothing to do with it. If the two teams finish on the same number of points, a number of runs, it's a tie. Here we go. Waka Yunus. LBWP, chance of a run out. Nothing. No LBW, no run out. We're still in a tying situation. Well, as I said, uh, look at this. That ball there, well, uh, obviously pitched outside the line. Uh, the ground, he was off. But Pringle didn't want anything to do with it. But, of course, there's still four balls to go, so there's plenty of time, as Pringle would be saying, to the ground. It's just a matter of the ground can stop four thunderbolts. But he's got the right idea, and he's going to get forward, whatever. And I've always felt if you can get forward far enough and get a bit of better around, you might slip on away for one. And no doubt he'll be aware of that, too. Look at those Pakistani fielders now. Everyone up in the ring. Don't see that often in a one-day game. Another LBW, yes, he's out. He's got the LBW, the game is tied. Well, what can we say, Grant? <laughs> Unbelievable finish here at Eden Park. The New Zealanders walk off, heads down, the Pakistanis know they've got out of jail the match is tied what an absolutely unbelievable finish to that match the first time that new zealand had ever tied a one-day international let's have a look at the uh, new zealand innings the scorecard a disastrous start for them 
Young and Hartland going very cheaply. But then Ann Jones and Ken Rutherford revived the innings, a 50 partnership in 59 minutes. Shane Thompson, after being dropped early on, continued uh, the runs after Cairns was run out for 39, but then the uh, collapse. And uh, as we know, the two wickets going down in the last over. And what about the bowling figures? And really, man of the match, absolutely without question, Wakar Yunus, six wickets for 30 runs. In the space of 20 balls, Wakar had taken four wickets for the loss of eight runs. It's the fourth time that he's taken five or more wickets against New Zealand, and they happen to be the best figures ever by anyone against New Zealand.